times. Ask me if I'm getting one of those trucks. <sighs> Bro, good luck. Ask me if I'm getting one of those trucks. You getting a Fuck truck, yeah. Joe? <laughs> Why are you asking? Of course I'm getting one of them trucks. Yeah. Look at that thing. You don't yeah. like it? No. You don't like it? No. no. I don't I don't like it and I How dare you? I'm not entirely sure it's it's real. Ooh, I mean I think interesting. I, I I think look at that. I mean on. look I, I, Come my on. initial reaction to that was that's not a real thing. Me George Jetson da, 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 And da, da, my da. second reaction <laughs> is I'm pretty sure they couldn't build and sell that in America. Why? That, because I I just I just don't think that that will Pass the tests that it needs to pass, and I and furthermore, what kind of tests? more more like crash tests, pedestrian safety stuff like that. Furthermore, it's 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 because how do I say this without? It's really hard to talk about Tesla because their fans are fucking they crazy. Get they get really mad and they don't leave me alone about they it. They get crazy. In They're the coming at you already. In the, in the beginning, I thought that it's complete bullshit and fake and a fraud. I've talked to sent a few people since in the design space who design cars professionally for a living and i have been convinced that it could be possible to build and sell a shape a vehicle shaped sort of like that although mm. not exactly like that okay um having said that i think that the way that it has been marketed is not entirely honest and also, I, people companies show concept cars all the time. Right. There's nothing wrong with showing a concept car. There's nothing wrong with going. Here's a here's a prototype we built, and this is going to show the direction of our industry. Right. And if you build electric cars as your business, it's pretty easy to build a concept car that runs and drives because you've got your skateboard and you can just you know put any body on it. Right. So odds are there's like a Model X chassis underneath that prototype truck. Right. But there's a one, I don't think that accepting reservations is an honest thing to do when you don't know how you're going to build the truck, don't know. There's no way that truck's on the road next year. No way. Not well, a time. supposed they to be on the road next yes, year. Yes, he did. He said 20. He said next year. 2021. 2021. 2023. No, the full three motor, 500 range, badass one is like a three year down the line thing. So, I, mm. Here's the problem. Building cars and warrantying them, repairing them, selling them is like a logistics business. They're operating this company like a tech company where it runs on hype. Like, where's the Roadster? That's supposed to come out this year. When is that coming out? I don't fucking know. I haven't seen give anything me, about it since the prototype. Give me a guess. Give me a guess. I don't know. That's the point. I don't like they've had these product launches and they build up the hype. It juices the stock. They take the reservations. But then it's like, but you, you have to deliver the product, guys. You're you're actually a car company. You're not you're not exclusively driven on hype. But they have made some cars. Of course, no, no. Of course they made. You're, there's one here. Yeah. Yes. No. I'm not saying they don't build and sell cars. They build and sell cars. But what I am saying is, their business model is not like the regular car companies, in that it is so dependent on this hype machine bringing in new investors, bringing in new reservation cash. When they go, here's this crazy total recall space truck and all it's going to cost you people to buy into my space truck vision is $100 refundable and you're not going to find out if that $100 gets you a truck for like two and a half years. <laughs> Are you going to go after your $100 if he's late or it's, it's your, but I'm not saying you shouldn't buy whatever he sells. Isn't the roaster thing a different deal though? Don't you have to pay all the money or something? There is a reservation process. All I'm saying I felt like is, the roadster thing was different though. Like that requires a substantial sum of money. Right, but we don't we haven't seen any roadsters either. <laughs> Not one, but we and, saw we saw the prototype. Yeah, it's, but it's easy to build a prototype when you're Tesla. Tesla mm. can build a prototype very easily. They've got an electric skateboard, they can put any body on it, it'll look and feel like a mostly run and driving car. What's it say here? Forty-five thousand, five thousand dollar credit card payment plus forty-five thousand yeah. dollar wire transfer due in f in ten days. Yeah. So you got to put up fifty thousand <laughs> yeah. dollars. So which you're is, giving him a zero interest loan of yeah. fifty thousand dollars until is, he delivers this product, which is like a good income for a lot of people <laughs> yeah. for a year. Yeah. And you got to so, give it up. Correct. And so and I'm not saying that they don't build and sell real cars. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy one or lease one. I 
am saying, and this goes for let's let's expand this. I'm not. This isn't a dig at Elon or Tesla specifically. Let's talk about all cars. Don't pay for something that isn't then handed to you. Mm, good There's point. no Elon's a billionaire. Why do you need to give him a zero interest loan of fifty thousand dollars for a roadster? A Why do you money. need to give him a zero interest loan of a hundred dollars for a truck that he hasn't demonstrated he could build yet? Why do you think they made the roadster fifty grand? And the down payment for the the truck only a hundred bucks. Because I will tell you why. Because uh, why I, be, I believe I believe okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in I believe. Okay. Okay. I believe it's so they could go to a a bank or a VC because if it's only a hundred dollars, you get you get so many. Uh, what the fuck? Right. We what the fuck? Five hundred thousand orders. You go. I've got two hundred and fifty thousand orders. I need a billion dollars. That's why uh, you would do that. Yeah. Look at you, clever boy. Because look, here's the problem: is if if it's legitimate, okay, if it's all on the up and up, if everything is on the up and up, there's a lot of individual pieces that don't really add up. Right. And, uh, and a house that's not made of, you know, it's like imagine the, the, the mortgage crisis in 08. You took all these bad mortgages and you put them together and all of a sudden it's considered a good investment, right? So he smashed the fucking window on stage. He quoted a bunch of power and torque figures that are basically made up. He did that dumb video with tug of war, the F-150 that was completely fake. Why and is it fake? The F-150 was in two-wheel drive and he was towing it uphill. That's not like, if you're going to make Isn't up- it easier for the car to drive downhill than uphill? It, no. Towing uphill, well, it would be the weight transfer is is if you have a two wheel drive pickup truck going downhill. My friend Jason Fenske at Engineering Explained did a whole video explaining debunking this. Oh. But if you have an all wheel drive, extremely heavy vehicle, because let's be honest, if they build that truck, that's a sixty five hundred pound vehicle, steel and batteries, right. all wheel drive, versus a pickup truck that's put into two wheel drive with no weight in the bed. Right, that's just. So it's like all automakers make up silly games to show up their product, right? They right. tow the space shuttle or whatever bullshit yeah. they do, yeah. right? But they make up a game they know they can win. They don't make up a game and then cheat at it. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, why are you going to do a tug of war video if you then have to cheat at the video on video to do it like pick a different game you know you can win like what, what kind of a person makes up a game and then cheats at it like that's just well yeah ford wanted to get one of their own they're like well why don't you give us one of your teslas let yeah. us do it and then somebody up at up at the top said don't engage that idiot what are you doing i'm not doing this yeah uh, so look I, again well they probably can't well, realistically it can't really compete with it I, th I think a tug of war test is not has. a it's not a test of anything. It's a test of weight and tire grip. That's right. it. But when you a truck guy, you got to realize it's a like, thing they do. A truck guy yeah. like oh, okay, we're going to win. Bro, let's bring that Pull let's it. bring that cyber truck over to a gravel pit and dump two tons of yeah, you know, let's gravel. Let's put a dead elk in the bed. <laughs> Did you see any like of the renderings of people like camping in the cyber truck? Yeah. It looks absurd. Well, yeah. It just like dude like you want to fucking, you know, you want to buy one? Wait till he sh says this is the one you can buy. Oh, I haven't put an order in. Yeah, I just, I don't but think. I would. It's I don't think. Bucks. Congratulations, you just bought into the scam. <laughs> that's, 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 you know what I mean? I understand. I, I see what like, you're I saying. I don't think it's like a full on fraud. I just think he's figured out creative ways to to get the public to bankroll shit yeah. that he already said was done. Bro, a million robo-taxis by 2020. Where's the robo-taxis, bro? Is that what he said? Yeah, this cyber truck thing came out of seemingly nowhere, but right kind of at the same time that they figured out that full self-driving is not right around the corner as they said it was. Mm. There's a lot of backtracking going on in the full self-driving. Mm. Level five is not coming anytime soon. You're not going to be able to send your Tesla out to do errands for you without a driver in it anytime soon. What was the parking? What Tesla promises one million <laughs> robo taxis. Yeah, that's from twenty nineteen four yeah. four nineteen. I mean, technically wow. they have that's a year April. and a month left, but they have delivered zero robo taxis. <laughs> that's a lot of robo taxis. Yeah, yeah they a million. Deliver. He did. He said that shit, man. Yeah. Well, the problem with Tesla is Elon says some shit that then is impossible, and then they have to figure out how to do it later, and sometimes it doesn't work. Do you?